if you're interested in animation, start to keep track of the characters that you create in here and elsewhere. What I used to do is I had a physical stack of three by five cards. In fact, I still have a stack of cards right now. There's something about putting pen to paper, physically writing stuff out. They've done studies about this, the, the creative spark that flows through you and onto the paper. It's just more free form when you do it like that than on a computer. Sure, you could put it in a list on your phone later on, make it easy to access, but when you're writing down your characters, write it down this way, create a name, give it some context, an attitude, a vocal tick, an age type, and a line that gets you into it. Right now, you were doing a kindly old turtle, so you would name that turtle Mr. Turtleopolis or something, and write kindly old turtle, and then come up with a line, for instance, uh, Okay, so long division is it, or however it is that you were doing it. You write a line down that will immediately remind you of how you did it, and then some characteristics. Older, slow talker, whatever it happens to be. Have a different card for each character like that. And then you won't have to have a brain freeze when you're in an audition situation, for instance, because you'll have a repertoire. It's almost like a sheet music for a musician. Like, okay, here's all the songs that I can play. Okay, here's all the characters that I can do. Then when you get really good at it, you can mix and match vocal qualities from the different characters so that you can combine characteristics and swap them in and out. And then you have an innumerable, almost infinite number of characters that you can portray when you're voicing animation. Make sense? Yeah.